um, I'm MP for Kulai, Tioni Ching, and I have one item that is about the uh, CID being accused of money, uh, money laundering in Australia. Um, Bukit Ahmad CID Chief Wan Ahmad uh, should accept the offer of the veteran investigative journalist Al Nadesh Warren and engage his friend, who is a lawyer, a practicing lawyer in Melbourne, to retrieve the, to retrieve the almost one million ringgit, which was frozen by Australian authorities on suspicions of money laundering. Bukoi Amai CID Director Wan Amai may have been naive about the Australian laws concerning remittance of two funds um, to fund his children's education. And he may have been ignorant about the legal system in Australia. But now, both YB Lim Le Ing, Segambut MP, and Malaysia Kinney's columnist Al um, Nadish Warren have confirmed that Australia legal system uh, allows for a no win, no fees arrangement. So so why still hesitate? It is of the utmost importance for him to do so in order to clear his reputation completely. Yes, he will still need some money. To, he will still need to fork up some money to travel to Australia, uh, also for his accommodation, perhaps. But isn't his reputation worth much more than that? And if the money seized by Australian uh, authorities is really meant for his children's education funding in Australia. Uh, now the money being frozen. So how are he, how how are his children going to continue their study in Australia? So for his personal reputation and also for his children's sake, I think it is very very important for him to clear his reputation. If cost is indeed the problem for him not to engage any lawyer to retrieve his money, I volunteer to do crowdfunding for him to aid him to travel to Australia to engage the lawyer friend of Nades Warren to retrieve his hard earned dollars. On the two, on two conditions. First, he needs to declare his uh, assets properly. This is in order to prove that he doesn't have the money to go to Australia and therefore a crowdfunding is justified. And second, he also needs to show us all the necessary and relevant documents to prove the source of the fund being frozen by Australian government. Uh, the, the reason simply because we need to be convinced that the legal action won't be a, futile, a fruitless exercise. The image of Malaysia is being tarnished by this incident. We already have a Prime Minister who threatened to sue Wall Street Journal for defamation but has never done so. A PM being mentioned in the OJ suit, we do not want another CID chief who is being accused of money laundering by Australian authority but has no intention to clear his reputation. Okay, so basically, in short, I'm willing to do crowdfunding for him to fund him to go to Australia if indeed he can't even pay for the accommodation and also a uh, travelling expenses. But based on two, I think, very, very reasonable uh, condition. One, declare your asset publicly to justify us, to, to justify the club funding. Second, show us the documents because our uh, IGP said that it's actually no case. Uh, the source of money is not a problem here. So show us the documents to prove that the money being frozen by Australian government is indeed hard-earned dollars. Then we will happily do the crowdfunding to defend his dignity, to defend his reputation, but more importantly, I think to defend Malaysia's image in the international arena. Any questions from you? No questions? Thank you. If you need a copy, then please get it from me. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.